this is a question that a lot of people mm -hmm. have. Is the air safe to breathe? A lot of us go to our phones to check the air quality in our area, but is it giving you the full picture? We asked KCAL News Assignment Editor Mike Rogers to break this one down. And Mike, what are the experts saying? Yeah, you know, when you look at your phone, especially if you're in the LA area, right now it's green. My phone says the air quality is about 43, which is in the good range. But what I learned from AQMD is that the readings that you're getting on your phone only pick up fine particulate matter. Things like ash are too big to be detected on the air quality monitors throughout Southern California. So what do you do? How do you know? Well, air quality experts that I spoke with say it's really important to look and see what's in the air. Uh, the good news about ash is you can actually see it blowing around. Now, what you may not realize is that ash from wildfires actually sticks around for a pretty long time. AQMD tells me that from the airport and the bridge fires that we had back in September, they're still seeing ash throughout Southern California and throughout their service area as it gets kicked up and blows around. Because in order to get rid of the ash, it needs to rain so the vegetation can grow. And that is simply not happening. So there's one big question that's been on everyone's mind. Should people be wearing masks when they go outside? Yeah, so if uh, air quality is poor, either from the AQI index or if you see ash in the air, um, a N95 mask that's well-fitting can provide a lot of protection uh, against those pollutants. Yeah, now Scott there from AQMD also said that uh, 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 air purifiers that you put in your homes do a really good job of getting those large particulate matters and the fine particulate matters out of the air. Another really important tip that you may not really think about when you're cleaning up, if you've got ash, if you're not in the exact fire zone, but you're close enough that you've had ash fall onto your property, it's important that you do not use things like leaf blowers. Even a broom uh, can kick up that ash and that dust and send it back up into the air. They really encourage you to, if you're using a broom, brush it very lightly, uh, try not to kick things up and move them around, but leaf blowers for sure, they're saying do not use. And again, masks are suggested if you can see the ash in the air, guys. Good to know, Mike, thanks for that.